Hi, and welcome to our series on creating a video project using free web-based video editing software. My name is Mike Benson, and in this video, we are going to explore ClipChamp's interface and upload our media files. After you have logged in to ClipChamp, you will be taken to this window, where at the top you will see a row of images that are actually templates that can be used to build your project. If you click on one of the templates, you'll be provided additional options. Here, I'm selecting the travel template. You can then select one of the related templates or select use this template. The template will download into the editor. This may take several minutes to download, so this is a good opportunity to take a break, stretch, get a cup of coffee or tea. Most of these templates are created with premium photos, video, or audio files, which are recognizable by a yellow star. If you use these files, the item will include a watermark. You can remove the watermark by upgrading to the premium account. However, you can also delete these premium files and add your own photos, video, or audio to the template. To delete a premium file, hover your cursor over the file and press the delete icon. Doing this leaves all the other template content which you can edit to create your project. From here, you just need to upload your files and adapt the content for your project. For now, let's go back to the editor. Press the back button on the browser until you reach the main editing window. Since we added the travel template, it appears here. If we want to edit or delete this project, go to the upper right of the project and make your selection. Here, we're going to select Delete. To create a new video project, select this button. Here you have a few choices of video formats. We're going to select 16 by 9, which is the most common ratio because TVs and phones are built in this ratio. 16 by 9 is also used by online video services such as YouTube. After selecting the 16 by 9 format, we are taken to ClipChamp's editor. On the left are tools that allow you to add media, text, overlays, backgrounds, transitions, and a logo. This area is where your files are listed, making them easily accessible. This is your video player, and here is a multi-track timeline. To upload your files, you can click on the plus icon here and select your files. Another option is to simply drag your files into this area of the editor. For example, if we were to go back to our project folder, then to our storyboard folder, you'll see our list of numbered files in the order that we want them to appear in our video. We want to select all these files and then drag them into this location of the editor. When they have uploaded completely, you will see the photos. As you can see, the files loaded in numerical order. If you scroll down, you will see that we have added image files, audio, and video files. If you place your cursor over the audio or video files, they will start to play. In our next video tutorial, we will add these files to our multi-track timeline and begin the editing process. I hope to see you there.